वेलकम टू सीट विद्या मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल सी बी एस ई बोर्ड ऑनलाइन ऑडियो वीडियो लेसन एंड योर इंग्लिश टीचर झील मिस एंड वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विथ द बैनियन ट्री टिल नाउ वी सी दैट द ऑथर हैज डिस्क्राइब द फाइट बिटवीन द मंगूस एंड द कोबरा एज द बैटल ऑफ चैम्पियन हिस्सिंग डिफियंस हिज फोक्ट टंग Darting in and out, the cobra raised three of his six feet off the ground and spread his broad. In the picture, you can see that the cobra he is half up the ground and you can see his forked tongue. Forked means which is into two parts. And hissing sound is the sound that the snakes make. The mongoose bushed his tail. The long hair on his spine stood up. Again, in the picture, you can see some hair. They are standing up from the back of the mongoose. Though the combatants, combatants means the participants. Though the combatants were unaware of my presence, they were soon made aware of the arrival of two other spectators. Spectators means the people who watch a show or a game. One was a man, ah, the other a jungle crow. Over here you can see crow and a man. Ah, man ah is in the pinkish red color. So the cobra and the mongoose are not aware that a human is watching them, but they saw a crow and a man. Ah. they had seen this preparations for battle and had settled on the cactus to watch the outcome so the crow and the mana are excited to see who wins this fight had they been content only to watch all would have been well with both of them the cobra stood on the defensive swaying slowly from side to side trying to mesmerize the mongoose into making a false move now what the cobra is doing is he is not attacking the mongoose directly he is going from side to side so that this would confuse the mongoose and the mongoose would take a false move which would lead to his loss but the mongoose knew the power of his opponent's glassy unwinking eyes and refused to meet them the mongoose is not making eye contact with the cobra instead he fixed his gaze at a point just below the cobra's hood and opened the attack the mongoose was focusing on the cobra's neck where he would just bite and break its vertebrae moving forward quickly until he was just within the cobra's reach the mongoose made a pretended move to one side immediately the cobra struck his great hood came down so swiftly that i thought nothing could save the mongoose so what we see here is the mongoose he moved quickly and he went near cobra but this was a pretended move from mongoose's end and as the mongoose reached the cobra the cobra struck him and the moment was so swift that the author felt that this would be the end of the mongoose but no that little fellow jumped to one side and darted in as swiftly as cobra biting the snake on the back and darting away again out of reach so just when the author thought that the mongoose is dead what the mongoose did is he jumped to the another side and he again moved in with such a great speed same speed as the cobra and he bit the snake on the back and again ran away from cobra's reach at the same moment the cobra struck the crow and the mana hurled themselves at 
him only to collide heavily in mid air striking insults at each other they return to the cactus plant a few drops of blood glistened on the cobra's back the cobra struck and missed again the mongoose sprang aside jumped in and bit so again there was a round two the cobra he again struck but he missed the mongoose and the mongoose being very quick at darting he again went to the other side and he bit the snake on the back and again darted away again the birds dived at the snake bumped into each other instead and returned stalking to the safety of the cactus the third round followed the same course as the first but with one dramatic difference the crow and the manna still determined to take part in the proceedings dived at the cobra but this time they missed each other as well as their mark the manna flew on and reached its perch but the crow tried to pull up in mid air and turn back in the second that it took the bird to do this the cobra whipped his head back and struck with great force his snout thudding against the crow's body i saw the bird flung nearly 20 feet across the garden it fluttered about for a while then lay still the manna remained on the cactus plant over here we see that the crow and manna they tried to take over the snake but what happens is the cobra gets the hand of crow and it strikes the crow with such a great force that the crow's body fell around 20 feet long and the crow's body it was fluttering for a minute and then the crow he laid still fluttering when it was shaking a bit here and there but eventually the body of the crow laid still which means that the crow was dead the manna remained on the cactus plant and when the snake and the mongoose returned to the fight very wisely decided not to interfere again so the manna as she saw that the crow is dead she went to the cactus again and decided not to interfere in the fight the cobra was weakening and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it raised himself on his short legs and with a lightning snap had the big snake by the snout the cobra brought and lashed about in a frightening manner and even coiled itself about the mongoose but to no avail the little fellow hung grimly on until the snake had ceased to struggle he then smelt along its quirking lamp gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes the manna dropped cautiously to the ground hopped about peered into the bushes from a safe distance and then with a shrill cry of congratulation flew away so what the author says here is the snake was tired over here and the mongoose was very wise so upon seeing that the cobra is tired and is weakened up it walked straight up to him raised his raised himself on his short legs and he snouted the snake the cobra was injured very badly it also tried to coil itself around the mongoose but that attempt was a total failure the little fellow that is the mongoose hung on until the snake had ceased to struggle he then smelt the quirking lamp 
gripped it round the hood and dragged the snake into the bushes. The Maina, what she did is she she was very cautious. She came to the ground. She saw the cobra dead and then she from a very safe distance and then she congratulated the mongoose and then flew away. Ruskin Bond is the author.